I've always been a maker of things. My mum was a dressmaker and so was my grandmother. So I grew up around sewing machines and sewing and knitting and handwork all my life. I bought my first sewing machine almost a week after I started work when I was 17. But I didn't really like dressmaking. I don't do clothes very well. And when I was just starting my family, I went off and had some patchwork and embroidery lessons and really sort of started to find my niche in the stuff that I like doing. As the years went by and you have children and all that gets put on the back burner. And it wasn't until my kids were going off to university and I knew I was going to have a lot more time on my hands and thought, this is my time now. And so I dug out the sewing machine and it wasn't quite what I wanted, that one, any longer. So I, I bought a new one on Trade Me <laughs> and I've not looked back since. I'm Bronwyn Ferlin. I'm a textile artist. I originally started out doing traditional embroidery and patchwork, but I really identify as a textile artist now. I was born in Gisborne and brought up here. My husband and I first moved to Wainui about 35 years ago when we started our family. I feel like we're really embedded in the community now and we've moved an old hall onto our property and I've got my own special little space in the roof of the hall that is my she shed. When we shifted the hall here and had the concept plans made, the one thing that I wanted most of all was a room for me. I've never had that before and I wanted my own sewing room so that I could create the most unholy mess, get up, walk away and come back to exactly where I had left off. One of the very first quilts I ever made was when my youngest daughter was moving from a cot to a bed and I thought I'll make a quilt for that, you know, for her to move into a big girl's bed. I haven't finished that one yet. <laughs> That's still a work in progress. <laughs> Um, years later, when I got the new sewing machine and I went back to stitching and everything, I made a few quite traditional quilts, but I soon discovered that I actually don't really like following someone else's pattern. I love learning new techniques, but I don't actually like doing someone else's work. The Pahutakawa quilt that I made downstairs, I made that about 10 years ago. It probably took maybe up to two, 300 hours work all up. There was a lot of late nights involved in that quilt. Um, there's a lot of very fine machine quilting work and then the beadwork to get the little seed heads on the Pahutakawa flowers is quite intense as well. It's been in several exhibitions within New Zealand. It's travelled to France and Canada with the Made in New Zealand collections and it's, it's, I'm very, very, really, really proud of that piece of work. It's just brings a lot of light into our life. When you host the She Shed Tour, all these lovely people come into your little room and are quite excited. It's become such a great day for so many people to enjoy. And I feel really lucky to have a room like this. A lot of people don't have them. So it is nice to share something like this with other people. I think one of the things that, that I love most is that you can, you can, can just take something that's quite ordinary and plain and turn it into something absolutely amazing. And and it's all what you've done yourself. A lot of people that came last time I did it, they say, oh, when I retire, I'm going to get my sewing machine out and start doing this too. Well, it might be too late then. They actually need to start doing it now. Don't wait. If you want to do something, do it now. Life's too short.